seam here okay I'm gonna show you something cool Let's see. I feel like I'm performing surgery here okay so right here to remove the head you just have to be pretty careful we have these threads here see you're going to want to remove these threads and if you can see here we'll be careful you see that right there it opens up okay see it opens up and inside there there's a little um, what do you call those things? Um, garbage tie, like type thing. Plastic garbage tie. Let's see if I can use this. Sorry about my nails. The gardening has ruined everything. I'll have to get my nails fixed for the next video. But inside there is the garbage tie. And we're going to expose that by cutting these little threads. Make sure that you have thread to reseal this later after you put the head back on. Okay, so like flesh colored. But you're going to open that up and the garbage tie tip is right here. You can feel it and, a little, and see it a little bit. And it wraps all the way around the cabbie head. And you're just going to snip and make sure actually you have more garbage ties on hand. Um, I have some white ones on the next video in this series. In this video, I should say, um, in the next part, I will show you what they look like, okay? Uh, I'm going to have to stop this part of the video because the gardeners are coming. I'll be right back. Okay, this is another example of, um, I was telling you how there's a zip tie inside the neck. This one happens to be protruding. If you notice that familiar little nub after you've cut the, I think we've all seen those zip ties where you cut the end there. Um, I will show you what the zip ties look like, but yeah, you can see that it wraps around the entire head and keeps the head on. See how it's like, see that? This doll I'm in the process of redoing, restoring and cleaning up and stuff, but yeah, that's what it looks like after it's cut. I will show you what they look like before they're cut. You see that little piece in there? That little tip right there. Yeah, a little tip, that's what gets cut. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how to, oops, I dropped my other doll. Um, show you how to remove the head from this doll. So first you're gonna need a seam ripper. And then a little sharp pair of scissors, maybe a thread, um, it's thread scissors, thread cutters, or something tiny and sharp like a um, utility knife which are kind of dangerous I'm gonna try these first okay so first what you want to do is use your seam ripper and you want to oopsie undo these oh you know, you know what And before you do this, make sure that you have 
thread, and I'm about to show you this thread, or any kind of thread, to sew it back up when you're done. I just happen to have this. I got this off eBay. It's like a, th a flesh colored thread so that we can reseal the head once we do what we want to do with the head. Okay? So. All right. Next part coming up. Okay, and now, if you look carefully, you can see the cable tie in there. You want to expose that, okay? So let me grab something. Let's see. <clears throat> I feel like I'm performing surgery here. <laughs> well, what I think we're going to do is I wanted to show you the, the tip of it, but we can just cut it while it's here, okay? So take something sharp. This hang on, let me let me be right back. Okay. You see I'm going to snip that cable tie. Make sure you have cable ties at home so we can put the head back on. You need to be careful. Be very, 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 very careful. Let's try scissors first. Let's go like this. Oh, that's right. See that tip of the, the cable tie there? Okay, now let's find a way to cut this without doing a lot of damage. Please watch your fingers. Did I cut it? Nope. <laughs> Be very careful. Not only do we not want to destroy the doll. Oh, we got it. Okay. Got it. Now, we are going to pull this out. Okay, expose that. <laughs> well, first of all, the, the head is off. If you can see. Oh. Pull this cable tie out. There we go. See? Okay, and we're going to put a new one in later. So, there we go. Pull it out. I'll show you the head. And you see, there's no damage. It looked a little scary at first, but it didn't destroy anything and we're going to be able to sew that back up after we put the new cable tie in to affix the head uh yeah but the next part is i'm going to show you how to remove that plug so give me one sec you should go ahead and grab your phillips head screwdriver um or flat head screwdriver right yeah okay be right back okay we have our flat head screwdriver okay now Carefully, carefully. Work our way around this plug by twisting up the flat part under. Twist up. Be very careful. Do not stab yourself, please, dear God. Watch me do it. And you can put it in the middle and kind of, oh, sort of. Okay. See? 
You just kind of wiggle. careful while you're doing this. You, you definitely don't want to crack it. You could. So please just use your best judgment. See, I did a little damage there. Okay. Just kind of It's a little wonky, but something warm, warm a warm bath. It'll probably come out a little easier. But I'm just gonna wiggly woo. Just keep working it. Oops, careful. Good. I'm gonna be the one who's gonna hurt herself. You watch on camera. Different dolls have different types of plugs. I think it probably would benefit to um, heat, you know, put this in some warm water to loosen things up. I may do that in a minute and come back. But all right, let's see. Okay, it's coming up. Slowly but surely. Just watch those fingers, guys. Please. Okay, come. Do something like that. Yeah, that's doing something. And we're back. No one died. Ooh. Gotta be careful. I am the person who will hurt themselves. I, I have to be careful because I can get very wiggle lip. Hopefully you won't have this issue with whatever doll you're using, whatever cabbie, because there are different plugs and this one is not as easy as the last one. It's easy to do, but it's giving us trouble. This. I guess to stabilize the head, I would imagine. But if you, uh, if you lose it, I don't think it would make a huge difference, and I think you could probably find one. In Macari. I'm sorry, this is giving me such a hard time. The last one I did was not a true um, kid. It was a Coleco kid, um, 1985, number two head mold. This is a Toys R Us kid. And the, the plugs are totally different. I am really restoring this. Let's turn the head this way and see. edit this video to death.
switch sides it like the other side goes back down so I think what we're gonna do is put something underneath let's see You know, so it doesn't go back down. That could help. Watch my hand there. Hmm. Okay. with me guys this is not an easy thing to do there's a way to do it but it is not easy obviously Something's happening. So if you twist like this gently, continue to watch those fingies. Oops. I think we're getting there, guys. Yeah. We're getting there. Yep, it's coming up. See that? Look how much we have it. Coming up, see? No one said restoring cabbies was easy. Or OAKs. Hopefully your head plug will be easier, easier than this because I won't say it again. Oh, what did I do? How dumb was that? should be able to pull this out pretty soon and I do feel the sticky the stickiness from old glue oh god I don't want to hurt the face here okay I'm doing this doll's hair again is because it was all, uh, I believe this is Kanekalon hair, and it was all tangled and weird and really thin and kind of knotty and just not enjoyable. Loosen this up after I try to get this out. It's coming out. <sighs> Approximately ten hours later. <sighs> trying to twist it. Yeah, let's try to twist it and see if <laughs> we can loosen it up. Oh my god. Oh lord.
something's happening. Hang in there. It's gonna be worth it. Oh. All right, we're gonna try the blow dryer, okay? So let me mute this. how to do it. All right, sorry. Just warming up the head. Okay, we're learning something new together. This is working, but it's going to take some elbow grease, so I'm going to pull on it again. Okay, see how much we've gotten out? And the reason it's giving me trouble is because the first doll I did was, it was like a, an 80s doll. This is the 2000s um, doll, so they've gotten better at these plugs. I just figured that out. I'm just like, why is this so hard? <laughs> but the other one was really old and kind of easy to pull out but anyway let's do this again okay I'm going to try to spray the seal with isopropyl alcohol the cure-all to everything so uh, let's try to see if it'll break a like whatever you call it um adhesive seal or something all right Wait a second here. Here's the, uh, what do you call it? Cable tie. And we'll put in a new one. All right, let's give this a try. All right, let's see. We're gonna use our sleeves, I think, because I feel it. I feel like just breaking this thing, but... <laughs> Sleeps time because I don't want to get hurt. Oh, that's the nut. <laughs> hmm.
I haven't like screwdrivered myself right now. I really am. This is why my channel has the uh, no children allowed situation because <laughs> this is really unsafe. You gotta be really, really careful. Okay. I just wanted to add, let's see, let me shut my game up here. I just wanted to add uh, quickly, this is the plug that came out of my 2003 True Kid, Toys R Us Kid. I did a little damage to it. This is how it was in the head. Like, here's the head right here. Wait. Where's it? Hang on. It's like this. So this is the head then turned upside down. This is what I was dealing with. So you see these little lips here? That's what was causing such an issue to get it out. It, I mean, wow. The older cabbies don't have that. Unfortunately, I found out the hard way. I, um, I tried this uh, 1985 and the, the plastic is just like a kind of a, just a circular thing, kind of like this. But it chipped. It just broke because it's like really old and it just um the reality is is these these can get broken and damaged if you're gonna do rerouting or ooak um i'm pretty sure you can buy these online um i'll look that up and insert it in the video after after a while um but yeah the reason this one was so hard and i did do some damage is because of these lips because i don't think they made the dolls they were intended to like be taken apart um, so yeah, I did a little damage. It will go back in and everything will be just fine. But yeah, I did kind of go crazy on it. If you can see all the, <laughs> it looks pretty bad. But, um, but yeah, the doll is in great shape. Nothing happened to her. She's perfectly fine. But I did kind of do some damage. And that's why. So be wary if you have a 2003, a true kid, or any of the 2000s and up. Um, they all have this, they most of them have this sort of like contraption that's going to be difficult to get out. So what I did was, is I, I, um, as you can see, this is like shaped like this. It's because what I did was the head, I stuck a pair of scissors, these scissors in the head part, the rubber part and kept a little piece open. And then I slipped uh, this in and then just jimmied up and just kept lifting and lifting and that's why this is indented because it just kept bending and bending that but and it finally came loose I did spray it with isopropyl alcohol as well that did help a teensy bit but mainly it was because of these pesky little lips here so you will have to use a little elbow grease no matter what um, as far as the 19 the 80s ones you can boil them well, not boil them, but put them in really hot water. Um, you can try isopropyl alcohol, or you can just take the damage and buy a new one. Um, but it's going to be difficult. You're going to, you might get lucky and it won't be damaged at all like I did for the doll that I, I just rerouted. Taking her thing out was easy. It just popped right out. Everything was dry. It was perfect. But um, yeah, the one that I just tried a little bit ago didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. So it happens. It's a learning experience. And um yeah, so I'll look that up and let you know where you can buy head plugs for uh, cabbies and other dolls like that. But I just wanted to add that, that that's why this was so difficult because it's like, it's, 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 I, I don't get it. But yeah, okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, look at this. Look, I had to use a screwdriver and like, bend this and get it underneath because look how it has these little grips at the bottom that's why it wouldn't come out oh my god yeah so um 
the the uh, Toys R Us kid ones. Oh lord, the plug sucks. Okay. Wait, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah. So I ended up using the screwdriver and these scissors. I used the scissors as a placeholder and use the screwdriver to get underneath and lift it out and pop it out. But anyway, so there you go. There's the inside of the head. And now in the next video, we'll talk about how to get all this yucky stuff out. But wow, yeah, be very, please, very, 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 very careful unplugging the head. Good God, that was, whew. <sighs> We did it! Yay! Please be safe! Oh my god! I'm probably maybe going to behead uh, a 1985 <laughs> to show you how easy it is to get the plug out compared to these true kids. Yeah. That was insanity. But we did it. We didn't lose a hand. So yeah, um, I hope this helps. Um, what we're going to do, let's see, remember, seam ripper. Um, thread cutter, very sharp, please be extremely careful. Flathead screwdriver. Um, a good attitude. And a doll, preferably from the 80s. <laughs> because this is horrible. It can be done. In fact, it's gonna, it'll probably be way easier to get it back in because as you can see, the, these pieces go up. So that means it's meant to go down easy and then get stuck as it comes back out. So I guess they had a, an inkling that maybe someone someday is going to pop that head off. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think I might in a few minutes behead the 85 um, and show you the difference. But yeah, we did it. It's messy and dangerous. Please be careful. Um, the alcohol, I sprayed the, I kind of broke the seal a little bit with this um, alcohol spray. I also used the blow dryer to heat it up. It took a lot of elbow grease and struggling, but we did it. Okay. Um, okay. I hope to see you in the next video. The next video, we will be taking all the hair off this little girl's head. Okay. This is a 1985. I want to show you how easy it is to, well, how much easier it is than the 2003 Gabby head. So we're going to kind of better be careful, of course. Let's see. Um, what I mean is uh, the plug. The plug is way easier than the 2003 doll. Let's be careful here. Um, let's kind of get a little leverage here. Alright, now we can sort of, there we go, I think we did it, if not we're close, did we do it? Yeah, we did it, alright, let's pull this out, okay, here's the head, here's the tie, the little plastic thing that we have tons of, right guys, alright, here's the inside of the head, see how easy that was? All right, now, see, this is what the plug looks like on the two thousand, on the um, sorry, 1985. So much easier to. This is going to be way easier to get off, I think. But let me not speak too soon. Let's. Um, oh yeah, you see, oh my God, you see how old it is? It just cracked. Okay, well, let's be careful. It's like, it's so old, it's like, oh my gosh. Alright, let's have a little, let's do something else. Let's see if we can. Okay. Well, this one is super old. Um... Just manhandle it. I am like the shrapnel, like. <laughs> Come on, guy. 
is. Just give me the thing. I just want to take it out so I can show people, please. Oh my god. Where are these pieces going? Video's not going the way I really wanted. I'm gonna have to use either um, rubbing alcohol and or heat, but let's just keep going. Okay. Dear God, how am I going to find these again? tell you, this one we're probably going to have to just completely destroy. Because it's so old that there's like... I don't want to hurt myself, so... Using the screwdriver to like ugh, drill a hole. All right, we have a screwdriver in here. didn't go the way I wanted it to. The doll I did before, it was a pain, but not like this. This is obviously, that's years of gross stuff on. So, I think what I'm gonna do off camera is just obliterate this, because we really don't need it. Okay guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna spray this head with, oops, isopropyl alcohol. Um, this little 
area here. I'm going to try to break like the gunk or the seal, whatever it is. Um, if that doesn't work, we are going to try heat with the blow dryer. And if that doesn't work, we will soak it in hot water. And if that doesn't work, we will just downright break it. <laughs> um, I mean, if your goal is to reroute the cabbie or, um, you know, fix the inside and everything. Um, I really thought the this 80s doll would be a lot easier than a 2003, but I guess it's all individual dolls and what the treatment was and all that kind of stuff and, you know, where it sat for years or... Yeah, so... Um, we're learning together. I'm learning um, all the time. But yeah, let's let this soak for a few minutes. We'll try to get it out, and then we'll move on to the next step if that doesn't work, okay? All right, be right back. Okay, it's been <clears throat> about 10 minutes, and I did try to wiggle this, and it's not budging. So... I sprayed all in these little, in these kind of areas, but yeah, it's not budging. So I think we're going to take this over to the blow dryer and see what we can make happen. Okay. I really, I just, I'm sorry. I was doing a computer update. Um, I really just want to reroute this cabbie because I've, I found a lot of sprigglies and I'm not really a fan of the auburn hair anyway. Um, and this is my favorite face mold, so I'd really like to have a cute hairstyle. See, I found more broken. But yeah, so. Alright, well that's not going to work, so let's try the blow dryer, okay? Off to the blow dryer. Alright, we're at the blow dryer station. I will either fast forward this or cut it out. Or you can fast forward on your um, on your video. There's that speed thingy. But yeah, um, I'm I'm still learning, so I'll figure it out. I don't want you to have to hear all this blow drying. But I do want you to see me doing it, even though we all know what a blow dryer looks like. Alright, I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back to you, okay? Okay, the blow dryer does seem to be working. I have a feeling hot water, uh, boiling water or whatever it is quicker. But um, it is melting the glue or whatever's in here and moving. You can see the chip right here. So I'll be right back. We'll keep trying. Okay. <coughs> It's working. It's working. Just gotta be careful of the head. You don't damage the head. Whew! It's a little elbow grease. But yeah, we're getting there, guys. Let's keep working on it. See? Keep it going. Keep the screwdriver on. Okay. Keep it going. Okay, as you can see, I heated it up, and now I have the screwdriver in here between the plastic and the head part. So now we're just going to work it all the way around and get it out that way. Just keep the head warm with the blow dryer. All right, let's keep working on that part. Okay, it's coming along. We just have to keep, keep it warm. Okay, as you mess with it.
Okay, I think we have it, guys. Ready? Okay. I don't know why that came on. <laughs> but, yeah. We have it. So let's... I'm trying to hold the camera and pull this sucker out. Okay, one sec. Okay, it's time. Be careful. I damage the head. I feel like I'm really manhandling. Careful, there's some sharp tips in there. Oh, look at this. It's really like hooked on to something in here. That's interesting. Oh, they really make these to stick, don't they? It's like, it, it's like, oh lordy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spray the inside of this with alcohol because I support alcohol. It's like glued to something inside the head here. See right there. Boy, they... They really don't want these things to come out. <laughs> what the heck, guys? What? Please be very careful. Please, please, please be very careful. There we go. We're going to, um, as brutal as this looks, I'm trying to use the tip of these scissors to cut that seal that this darn thing has. Pain in the booty. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the easiest thing. See, okay, look, I wanna show you. See how it's like stuck to that. Where are you? It's like stuck in there. We're gonna get it out right now. I don't know what they used. 
should seal it in. On top of that, it's like 30 something years old. Right. Like 50, almost 50 years old. Something like that. Abby's head is still intact. Good gosh. Aha. Uh -huh. I see the culprits. They really melted these together. That's what the issue is. They're melted together. Plastic on plastic. Sweets. We're getting there. Just make sure that you really want to reroot your cabbie because this will require ultra bubble grease. Okay, there's a little piece in here that it's glued to. <clears throat> there we go. ugly. Looks ugly, but we're doing it. Okay. Watch your fingers. As a reminder, this channel for doll customizing and rebooting and, or sorry, restoring and, you know, like adult crafts, it's not for kids if you are watching this and you're not 18 and up. Please Look away and ask an adult for help. This is not safe for children. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let me take the this out. Alright guys, we're at the end. Okay, so as ugly as it looks, we're gonna have to use our scissors and Give it a little twist. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh. Come on. You're almost gone. Right? Oh my god. Alright, now it's out, but let me just fix the cabbie head so you know that there's still a head. <laughs> Where's the cabbie head? Where are you? Cabbie, cabbie's here. There's some gunk. Here's the piece. That was really, really difficult. You, you could probably scrape yourself a few times. Please be careful. Uh, this is not a project for kids. Here's the inside. See this like fold here? That's what it was glued to. So we lost. I lost a, uh, a piece here for being impatient right here. It's not going to affect your doll when you put the doll back together, but it does look a little disturbing. Um, so. It's still warm from the blow dryer. But wow, what a, that was a difficult feat. It's still rubbery and warm from the blow dryer. Plastic here. That's interesting. I might peel it off because it's. Oh, okay. Oh boy, guys, that was hard. 
Yeah, so it was glued to these little pieces in here, and it or adhered with heat or something. Yeah. But we did it. The head is back to normal. Okay. There's some sharp pieces. Once it cools, it's going to feel a little sharp, these plastic pieces. Oh, boy. Um, i got to admit, that, that was difficult, but it is going to be worth it. I'm not upset about it at all. Like, I'm... I am upset about this little piece here, but that's not going to be seen once the doll's head's back on. Okay. That was... That really hurt. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, we did it together. Uh, it was not easy. It was not pretty. <laughs> it was a little ugly. Ah, but we did it. Not all cabbies are going to be this hard. The very first one, the very first uh, lid or plug or whatever you want to call it that I did was easy. It was just like dry, like it was dry rotted or something. I don't know, but it came out simple. And I'm like, why is this? Why are people making it sound so hard? Well, I found out why. Okay. So if you want, if you're doing an OOAK or you, you're doing a reroute, please expect that these, a plug will probably get destroyed. Um, it, it's going to be okay. It won't really matter. And I think I'm going to invest some time into figuring out how to make my own plugs to fit back into the cabbie for when we're done rerouting. But when all is said and done, you could always stuff the head to keep it stable, you know, or, you know, use your best judgment if you're a doll artist. Uh, yeah, but we did it. The doll's head is safe. <laughs> And, um, whew, yeah, and I'm not embarrassed to post this video. Nope. Not at all. Okay, well, that's the inside, by the way. Not, not very, not very ugly at all, actually. All right. See you next time, guys. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to mention really quick, actually, um, we could have probably boiled the bottom of the head, you know, with some boiling water, let it cool down just a bit and stick this in. But, I mean, blow dryer, boiling, I don't know. It depends on how much time you have or whatever. But heat is heat in whatever form. And it worked. We did it. Okay, that was ugly. <laughs> time to take a picture for the thumbnail. <sighs> okay. Bye, guys. Okay, I put the cabbie head back on after I took out this plug. I just wanted to see the difference in stability. Um, oops, <laughs> as he tips over. <sighs> I do notice, I don't know if it's in my head, but I do notice there's a little, there is a little bit of a stability issue, I think. I, I just don't know if I'm imagining that or not. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're going to reroute and everything, you could either try to just be extremely careful on like, well, I was kind of careful, but it just ended up being mangled. Uh, you can try to get it back in there or we can figure out a way to create our own or buy some off of Macari or eBay. But yeah, just remember if this is like a first time adventure, um, I don't know if I'm making this up in my head, but there does seem to be a little bit of a stability something or other but not it, it doesn't feel bad or anything maybe it's just in my head I don't know but that's up to you um I did mess up the stuffing right here so don't mind that I did do the whole you know I made sure to make make sure it's above the lip and nice and tight uh but it doesn't feel as heavy now so yeah I don't know it's all up to you it's your doll your adventure um I don't mind it I'm probably going to create some ways um, on um, either stuffing the head when I'm done with the reroute or creating my own little cap or trying to get these back in. I'm not sure, but just, just that's a little side note just in case um, before you start your adventure. It's no big deal. It's not a deal breaker. It doesn't make the doll ugly or anything like that, but I just wanted to let you know. I, I think there's a difference, but if, if I can't really tell if there's a difference, then maybe there isn't. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Um, it the 
the tie goes back on nicely. Everything's perfect. So, yeah, it's up to you. I don't know if it matters to you, like, if you're going to sell it all or, um, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that I did a little experiment to see how that felt. And the consensus is, or the, uh, my analysis is, there really isn't much of a difference if I can't actually tell if it's in my head or not. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs>